In today's Community Focus, we are joined by Massachusetts Attorney General and Democratic candidate to be the next governor of the Bay State, Maura Healy. She joins us now via Zoom. Thanks so much for your time today. Oh, it's great to be with you, Kim. Thanks for having me. So 60 seconds or less, why do you want to be Massachusetts' next governor? Look, Massachusetts is the greatest state in the country. We have so much going for us. But the fact of the matter is right now, too many families, too many people feel left behind. I want to be a governor who creates economic prosperity for everyone across the South Coast and across Massachusetts. And I have the skills and the experience to do just that. What do you think is the main issue, one main issue that you can point to that is really top of mind for Massachusetts taxpayers right now? I think housing, the cost of living generally, whether it's at the pump or buying groceries or childcare costs, but housing is really significant. It's also significant for employers. We've got a housing crisis here. We need way many more units of, of housing. We need to increase housing units by transit hubs. We need to increase availability of housing generally um, across the South Coast and across the state. And I have a plan to do just that. We also need to invest though in our infrastructure our public transportation. I hope to be a governor who sees through the South Coast Rail Project, but we've got to do so much more than that. Let's open, let's fix up and open the South Attleboro train station. Uh, let's make sure that we are building those connections across the South Coast into, into Rhode Island and beyond. Investing in housing and in infrastructure, including transportation, to me, these are key things. You mentioned the South Coast. You were in Fall River last week touting some local endorsements and also outlining some of your priorities. And just today you announced that Congressman Jake Auchincloss is backing you. I know sometimes the South Coast feels a little bit ignored by lawmakers up on Beacon Hill. So if you're elected, I know you pointed out some things that you plan to do in this area. But what is one policy or initiative you would put into place to help the people in places like Fall River and New Bedford? Well, let me say a couple things. First of all, I was so honored to receive Congressman Auchincloss's endorsement and support. I was so thrilled to be in Fall River and New Bedford last week. I have an office in New Bedford in the South Coast, so I'm pretty familiar with what's happening. And one thing that I really want to drive for the South Coast, Massachusetts in the South Coast has the opportunity to be the country's global epicenter for, for wind, for, for offshore wind. It's incredible what can happen with the potential for jobs and economic development across the South Coast region. And that is something that I wanna to work together with our schools on, our vocational schools, our community colleges, our research institutes, as well as those engineers and developers who are developing out the wind projects. I want it to benefit first and foremost, the people of the South Coast. We've got a huge opportunity and the next governor will have a huge opportunity to help the South Coast in that way. It's about growing jobs. It's about growing economic development. It's really exciting the potential that we can harness. Of course, fishing is a major industry in places like New Bedford and some fishermen have raised concerns about how offshore wind will impact them. How do you respond to their concerns? I have fishermen in my family. I completely understand those concerns. We've got to help our fishermen and their families. We've got to help them economically. We've got to help them, support them with, with workforce development and, and training. We've got to allow their industry to thrive. It is an industry so historic to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and we are so proud of our fishing tradition. I wanted to ask you about a couple of things that fall under your purview as Attorney General. Uh, the first is something that we've been reporting on here in Rhode Island, but it spills over into Massachusetts, the proposed sale of National Grid's utilities to Pennsylvania-based PPL. You challenged it, but then settled. Rhode Island's case is still working through the courts. Why was settling the right move in your view? Because this was all about protecting Massachusetts customers, protecting ratepayers. You know, people's bills are just going up and up when it comes to electricity and heating costs. And my job as your attorney general is to make sure that we are holding utilities accountable so that they're not taking advantage of the customers. We call them the ratepayers. So the sale to in Rhode Island was not a problem in and of itself. The problem was the impact it was going to have on Massachusetts ratepayers. We were able to negotiate with the company, and as a result, we were able to get that settlement that is going to be to the benefit of Massachusetts customers. 
And I know lots of us are thinking about summer. Many folks in the region might be traveling to Nantucket this summer where voters recently approved a measure to allow anyone to be topless at island beaches. This is something that your office actually needs to sign off on before it goes into effect. So I'm curious, are you going to approve this measure? Well, I'm curious too. My legal team in the office, Kim, has to review it. One of the things that people may not know is that anytime a town proposes a bylaw, it actually has to come to my office for us to review to determine whether or not it's constitutional. I don't know yet, Kim, what the result will be. Uh, they will do their legal work. Uh, it will be an interesting summer and we will do what we always do, which is to, to call them as, as we see them. But I, for one, am looking forward to getting to the beach and on to summer here in Massachusetts. Attorney General and candidate for governor in Massachusetts, Maura Healy, thank you so much for your time today. And Healy is up against fellow Democrat and state senator Sonia Chang Diaz in the primary. On the Republican side, Rentham business owner Chris Dowdy and former state rep Jeff Deal will be facing off in September. Incumbent Governor Charlie Baker is not seeking re-election. Looking ahead to tomorrow when we'll be joined by Mary Sullivan. She is the chief nursing officer at Bradley Hospital. She's going to talk to us about Nurses Month. That's coming up right here at 4 tomorrow in your Community Focus.